What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Gmod's World. Today, we're going to be showing you how to get flashback packs in Madden 18 gameplay. And I'm going to also show you towards the end of the video one of the glitchiest flashback pack openings that I've ever got. Now, I don't really have good pack luck, so wait till the end of the video, or you can skip there if you want to do that. But this is going to be very, very interesting. I'm going to show you what a lot of guys do. Uh, maybe girls are doing it too now. You know what I'm saying? We have girls and guys, whoever's playing Madden 18, whatever. Um, people just sit in the auction house and bid all day. Now, I'm very, very impatient, so what you're going to witness right now is pure rage. All I needed was one more 81 overall core elite because you're going to need um, elite tokens in order to you you know in order to utilize the flashback packs, right? So all of the elites, the lower elites, just skyrocketed in price. Everybody just started putting up wild prices. It was crazy. So I'm sitting here like, yo, I don't got, bro, my bank account is not set up to be just going in here and spending 20K a pop on bum cards to get flashbacks. You know what I'm saying? Plus, uh, all the flashbacks pretty much suck. The only one that's really good is that Berry. That's it. So I'm just sitting here like, yo, am I really supposed to be doing this right now? Like, does this does this really make a difference? Like, if I don't do it like this, does it really make a difference? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to do some bids. I'm going to see if I can get one of these cards, you know, for a reasonable price. Because before this uh, promo dropped with the flashback packs, these cards were selling for nothing. And I'm like, okay. I saw one of the tweets that said that this is what was going to happen, but I was like, you know what? How bad could it be? Bruh, the 84 to 85 overall cards are like 30 to 40K. They jumped up from whatever it was because I was seeing some of them for like 9K, 10K, the 84s because you need one of those for the elite token set, which I'm going to take. I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of what's going on, but I'm giving you guys an idea. I sat here for literally 30 minutes, bro, trying to win three cards. Try, listen, you could do it this way. You could try to do this bid war, whatever like that. Or you could just go and try to uh, get one of the flashback cards that you want specifically in the auction house. And you'll probably save time and money. Because it's ju it just doesn't make any sense what's going on. Um, I was very fortunate, though. Because if you have a lot of Nats, and also they did update the set so that um, the team leader 80 overalls now go into it, the elite token set. When I was doing it, it didn't go in there. So that, that kind of also altered it but you might want to use those uh you know team leader 80 overalls to help you get an 86 overall team leader i already have a video um explaining that but i'm gonna uh let you guys understand this this is very annoying and this takes a lot of skill some people are very very good at it you know what I'm saying? i got dudes on my friends list that really just be out here just bidding on stuff and for some reason other people don't see the bids that they're doing because they be getting bids it's wild and i'm like hold on how are you guys doing this? And I've tried different ways. Sometimes I get lucky. Sometimes when you go to the auction house, it's just right there in front of you. And you just got to click on it and you just got to get lucky, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, because people get frustrated like me. What I do sometimes, I'll try a card out, right? And then if the card sucks, what I do, I am, yo, I don't even look. I don't press L1 to see what it's going for. I just guesstimate, bro, and just get rid of it because I just don't want it in my binder. And a lot of people do that. You know what I'm saying? Because this game, what happens is you go into a game, right? And you think you litty. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if the kids are using that nowadays, litty, lit, whatever it is. Um, you think you, I'm going to use it anyway because, I, you know, Meat Mill has a song called Litty. So whatever, it must be the end thing, right? Um, you think you're lit. You come out, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm about to go out here and do this. The dudes that you put into your game, your game plan, they suck, right? And then you start going into a blind rage. I'm giving you um, a scenario that a lot of us go through. And if you, if you follow me on Twitch at GMI's World, you know I, I, I go through it all the time. So you put a player in your lineup, right? And the dude just comes out, and he's just a total outright bum. What do you do? It depends on your anger level. And I'm not encouraging you to be very, very angry people, but Madden does that to people. Like, you can look at this right here. This guy right here, and, and that's the thing about it. When you're bidding, and then other people are bidding at the same time, and then it keeps telling you that they can't place your bid... All of these things contribute to your blood boiling. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're just like, yo, I wish a mother effer would. And then somebody calls you in your house like, yo, can you, you're like, yo, what the F? You're like, yo, everything just starts going crazy. But this is what you're going to have to do if you're going to want to save coins and get flashback packs. Because you're going to need, what is it, like 380 to 81s or something like that, 282 to 83s, and 184 to 85. And then they're changing it. On September 18th, what the requirement what the requirement will be, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna get a lot worse because the auction house is popping right now. Like all these cards, you could have gotten them for so cheap, so cheap a couple of days ago. 
It's all effed up right now. Everything is wild. The whole auction house is just completely screwed because what happens is people are so greedy and they just don't care anymore. And then once the price is set, and look, what I'm saying is this. Don't get me wrong. If, if the, mark, the market is what the market is, like you already know, all of us been there. Like we be like, oh, you, we go to our binder and we got a card that's like skyrocketing. We're like, uh-oh, yes, sir. Like everybody starts screaming at the same time. We all do it through our minds. Like, yes, sir. It's just in your binder. And the dude is going for like a gazillion coins. It's happened to all of us at least once. Everybody gets a little bit of luck from EA Sports. Not like everybody is always unlucky. That'll just be very, very unfair to say it. Everybody gets something. So finally, we got Julius Peppers. You saw how he closed right there? We got him. Realistically, that's all I really needed, though. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're really thinking about it, but I didn't want to put some of my other Nats in the set, and I just really wanted to do at least one flashback to see what EA Sports was, you know, what, what, what were they out here offering? You know what I'm saying? Like, were we going to be able to get something decent? What was the dealio? That was pretty much all it was. I wasn't trying to do anything else. All I wanted to do was one flashback pack. And um, like I said, we ended up getting that Julius Pepper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of it. We're going to go see what's good. I'm going to be like, all right, let's get at least one elite token. So that way, um, I, you know, I could work around how I'm going to do the other one. Because that's all I really needed. You see, we go right to the elite token set. That's all I needed was one more. So we're going to go ahead and put Julius Peppers in there, right? And uh, we're going to get one elite token. Now, after that, we're going to need one more. All right? So now that we need the one more token, it's like, okay. Yo, what are we going to do with this? Because it's so ridiculous that, you know, these are the only ones that I have. And I don't want to really get rid of, you know, most of these I didn't want to get rid of. And I'm trying to figure it out, like, you know, I don't really need Colt Cruz. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you couldn't put him in the set for some reason. And then, uh, you know, my, my right outside linebacker, David, I'm like, I, I don't, it was just very, very wild. And I'm trying to figure, like, how can I do this and not really lose much? Because that's pretty much what it is. They're going to be sets throughout the year. Um, right here, I'm just showing you. These are the, see, I have the one elite token and you need one more. I'm just showing you the actual set. There's going to be things throughout the year where you're going to have to make decisions because even though a lot of cards are not, these uh, flashbacks being auctionable, if you were a person that got a lot of Nats, you're in the money right now because you probably made all these elite tokens. And you, if you were there early enough, you made a lot of coin off flashbacks. You made a lot of coins. I'm just letting you know that right now. You made a lot of coins off flashbacks because I know a lot of people that have like over 600 Nats of these overalls in their binder. And they're, they're pretty much like they're loaded right now. Just loaded. So this is a good solid that EA Sports has given, you know what I'm saying, by allowing them to be, you know, auctionable or tradable as far as the flashbacks go. But if you look at these prices, it's completely absurd. And what's going to happen is you may not make out with the, way the, pri the way the prices are now. Like, say you get a Cameron Wake flashback. You're done. Like, you're probably going to be like, you know what? I hate this. I I'm not doing this no more. You're going to be very, very frustrated. The only card you can realistically make out with, and I'm not saying make out realistic. I'm just saying, like, you can make some coins was Barry. And Barry's price has stayed relatively um, consistent, you know, close to 400K on the PS4. I'm not sure what it is on the Xbox, but he's been pretty consistent. That's the only card. Other than that, I don't know what you guys are doing because all those other cards are straight garbage. You know what I'm saying? And then they want 50,000 coins for one elite player or $9. Like, what the... F I, I don't know who comes up with, these, with the whole pricing system but it doesn't make any sense to pay $9 for one elite player and then the other goals and stuff are probably going to be garbage. So, like I said, I don't know. Whatever you guys are trying to do, you guys go ahead and do that. But I have to make sure that I'm able to, um, you know, figure the whole situation out. So what I did was I went back and um, you're going to see me right here. I think I tried to put in these uh, 80 overalls um, as far as what it was before the team leaders and they wouldn't let me put them in. And then after that, they updated it, and you were able to put them in. So you can see, I got I got a decent amount of NAT cards, but I wanted to keep most of my NAT cards, bro, because, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it is what it is. That's what I was trying to, you know, just have them in my lineup for speed or whatever like that, like that Gabriel, you know, Tyreek Hill. I didn't really want to put them in sets, but I'm going to have no choice, bro, because, look, I got I to gotta do it for the people. I got to let you guys see what my pack luck is really about. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are doing the same exact thing, trying to figure out what cards, what can I really live without? What am I going to do? What's happening with this? So what I decided to do was I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm doing exactly what I'm telling you guys. I, you see how many times I've been outbid, but you know what? We're not going to give up with it. We're going to go back and we're going to see if we could win another card. And, you know, 
when I was done with this, I had to go and get a lot of alcohol. Like I had to have a lot of vodka after I was done doing this. And then I was trying to get this guy and it was already expired. You see what I'm saying? Like every time you try to go and get something, it, it when you pop up, like as soon as you pop up on the screen, right? When you go into the auction house, there's always something that's being sold at that point that's about to close. You got to just close your eyes and just go ahead and buy it, bro. Because I tried my fastest to get that card and it was just gone. And that just gives you an idea. You see the, you see what I'm saying? Like he sold for 11K. Most of these other cards, when I was in there, with the same rating from 82 to 83, 20K, 24K, all kind of BS was going on. So I'm like, yo, how am I going to be able to do this? What am I going to do? And let me just let you guys understand that. The prices will probably drop very, very soon, possibly uh, on the weekend with the way that the, um, the auction house is going to be with the legends and stuff like that. And then also with the flashbacks being so trash, for the most part, with a lot of the cards, um, you know, it's going to be a situation where a lot of it probably will be lower. But if you wanted to get it on the same day, it's always like that. You know what I'm saying? But other than Barry, like I said, there's really not a lot of... I don't... There's nothing else that's really driving my interest. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of these bids and stuff like that that are going on, you see like he was almost about to be sold. And then as soon as I bid on him and then this guy gets sold at 10, 10 7 50, like, yeah, I, I just wanted to... Oh my goodness, bro. These are the things, man. I, I just, I was like, you know what, bro? I'm, I'm just putting, I'm putting any gnat that I, I don't even care what's in there, bro. I don't even care if they're in my lineup. I, I'm just looking for a gnat and I put them in there. But Calvin Johnson is off limits. He's off limits because I don't know what they're going to actually do with him. They got to have something that they're going to be doing with him in the future because I don't see why they would just let you get an 84 overall Calvin Johnson and they have so many other ways that you could upgrade everybody else and not let you upgrade Calvin Johnson by doing the promo with Doritos. See, you see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't really make any sense. So I'm going to keep him. But other guys, I got to get rid of. I'm going to just, yo, yo, David, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I got to just add you. Like, I'm not trying to spend these coins, man. My bank account is not set up like that, bro. I can't, you know, like this guy, yo, just go. Just leave, bro. I don't I don't care. I don't care anymore. It just doesn't matter to me anymore, bro. I'm, I'm just doing whatever. I don't care. Just, just add him to the set. Add him to the set. I don't care. It doesn't matter, bro. I lost so many of my actual starters doing this because I was in such a blind rage that I can't even explain it to you guys. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you did the same thing I'm doing right now. You say, you know what? Because I could have put Carson Palmer in there at that time if they would have had it updated, but I couldn't put in any team leaders when I was doing the set. And like I said, right now you can. So you can either use your team leaders for flashbacks or you could put them in a new set to get an 86 overall of any of your team leaders. But look, I, I was just giving away these cards, bro. Like I, I didn't care anymore, man. I, I was just outright done with it. I didn't care. I'm giving up Taylor Gabriel. Whatever, bro. Give me my elite token. Let's go see how glitchy my flashback pack can be. And it, it is what it is. Let's go. We're going to go put them in the set right now. We're going to see what we get. And like I said, if you are one of those dudes that skip right to the end of the video, you know, kudos to you, man. It is what it is. But let's see if EA Sports is going to bless us. Um, based on the amount of coins that we spent, I think I spent like 80K. So what did we get? Yes, sir. And at this time, he was going for a decent amount. I think it was like 170, 180 he was going for. So I made about, whatever, 80K after tax or something like that from just buying those minimal cars and getting rid of the other Nats. Yeah, he's like at 190 something, right? Yeah, so I think I put him up for like 189 or something. I don't know what I did. I don't remember, but I was I, I made a decent come up off of him. And um, it was pretty cool, bro. So that it is what it is. That's how you get flashback packs in Madden 18. Let me know how much you sold your cards for, what cards you pulled. Leave it all in the comments. Definitely like, definitely share. Definitely subscribe. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.